Hello Option Traders, this is Jeff and I am going to do a video live trading in uh, my conservative account. I'm going to roll this um, BP uh, naked put that I currently have open and I'm going to roll it to from a 45 April to a 45 May. I uh, just want to show you quickly what I did here to change my layout just a bit. You notice over here on both sides there's a now a time value column. Uh, and uh, I have that feature added to my Thinkorswim account and I wondered if it was available here and lo and behold it was. And the way that I found it was I just went over here and I said I wanted to uh, insert a column and I think it had to do with options it, um, I forget where it was in here but I think because it's in there already that it's not going to show up here uh, but basically you just go over to that drop down and you look for this time value uh, column that you can add in there and that's very helpful when you're looking at um, rolling short options from one month to the next and or uh, monitoring your positions because it's pretty important that you keep an eye on that because if you're in the money like this uh, BP trade is right now I have a 45 strike and the price is uh, 42.82 uh, you have a chance as you approach expiration of being called out when your time value or your extrinsic value uh, drops down far enough to make an actual assignment or being um, put the stock uh, could happen. If somebody wants to sell it for 45 you get put for 45 <clears throat> and although uh, you were willing, or I, at least I was willing, to own the stock at 45, now that's 42.83, it's not really all that attractive. And but I want to hang on to this uh, um, naked put, and I want to milk it for a little bit more money. So here's how we're going to do it. You remember, um, uh, first thing we want to do is we want to check our portfolio just to make sure that uh, what we have. And we can see here that we do have this April uh, 45 put, and it's minus 2. So we know that we're short 2. So we're going to go over here and click on the Combo tab. And we're going to go down to this 45 put and just click anywhere in this row here, actually. And, and it sort of knows... Um, that you're going to buy it whether you click on the bid or the ask column or anywhere actually in this row any of the columns in this row it it sort of knows that you know you already have short ones so it figures that you're going to want to buy those back I guess that's what I'm thinking was the logic behind this and we want to go down here to this um, May and we want to actually sell it so that that works you know that's um, that's exactly what we want to do is the way that it's shown here we want to buy back our April and we want to sell the May at the same strike and it's a put so we have two of them so we're going to change this to two it's going to be a day order the limit is going to be it defaults to 85 here but let's take a look at this particular uh, drop down here 86 is the ask and 90 is the midpoint. Let's see if today we can get 90 cents for this trade, which would be really, really nice, um, I would think. I mean, I would be very happy with that. So let's go ahead and try that. And it's pretty simple. We just hit the transmit button and we get a trade confirmation and we do want to buy two of those April 45s and sell two of the May 45s and we'll collect $180 on that provided we get our price so we just hit the transmit button and we'll wait and see what happens it's probably going to sit there for a while I would think 
and to see if it did um, actually um, actually execute or not, we would go to the trades, and if it had executed, it would be in there. If we look at the log, we can see that we entered, and we got an acknowledgement back. So now it's just a matter of waiting to get to our price, which may happen later today since it's about uh, 120 Eastern time right now. So as um, as the uh, options decay a little bit, we might just be able to get this 90. So I'm going to pause it for right now and we'll come back and pick this up later. Well, while we're still waiting for that order to execute, I thought I would show you how to get that column in here. And I and I did figure it out. Um, I mean, if a column's in there, it's not going to let you insert it again twice, so it's not offered on the pull-down. So we go to the, um, let's go to the delta column, and we'll say we want to insert a column before the delta column. And we go over here to Options, and we say we want the time value. Click on that, and it puts it in there. Next thing we want to do is uh, right click on that was a right click on that delta column by the way before so we right click again and we and let's resize the columns and that way everything can kind of fit in and you can stretch the window out too if you want to so that you can see the numbers better that way the other thing I want to do is these little tip things drive me nuts so I am going to um, disable tool tips and I won't get those little helper things popping up all over the place driving me nuts so that's how you do it um, of course any column can be resized uh, on its own but if you want to um, even them out then you can uh, use this option here to, do, to just uh, resize all the columns alright we're still waiting for that order to execute Okay, here we go. We have an execution as uh, shown here at uh, 3.02 this afternoon, or 3.03 I guess you could say. And we did get our 90 cents. So we come here over, first we'll look at trades, and we can see here that we actually bought it this calendar, which is what um, the spread actually ended up being. We paid a dollar forty-three in commission for it, and we took a credit of ninety cents in for each for a total of a hundred and eighty dollars. Not bad for a day's work. And if we look in our portfolio, currently uh, we used to have this April forty-five. We now have the May forty-five. And so, uh, my fellow option traders, this is how you do a, a roll of a naked put in. Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation. Thank you for your time and good luck to everybody. Happy trading.